Hello, today we'll be tackling fifth grade Math Olympiad problems. So let's start with the first question. A teacher distributed 240 stickers equally among her class of 30 students. How many stickers did each student receive? In this question, we have a teacher who is unfortunately for all my Star Wars fanatics, a stormtrooper at the moment, who has distributed 240 stickers equally among her class of 30 students. To better understand this concept, let's take another example and look at a simpler question. A teacher distributed eight marbles equally between two students. How many marbles did each student receive? In this question, we have replaced the 240 stickers with eight marbles and 30 students with two students. So here we have two students. Let's name them Jack and Bob. Here a teacher has eight marbles. So we have one marble for Jack, one marble for Bob. And if we continue placing marbles and distributing them between the two students, we see that for both Jack and Bob, we'll both have four marbles each. So how do we do this? We use an operation called division. In this problem, we took the number of marbles and we divided them by the number of students. In this case, we had eight marbles total and we had a total of two students in which both Jack and Bob got four marbles each. Now, let's look at a similar question. A teacher distributed 12 buttons equally among four students. How many buttons did each student receive? Here, we replaced eight marbles with 12 buttons and two students with four students. So here we have four students. We have Jack, Bob, John, and Mary. And here we have 12 green buttons. The teacher can equally distribute these 12 buttons among her students. Now each student has two buttons. As you can see, the teacher has equally distributed 12 buttons among her class. Jack, Bob, John, and Mary had each received three buttons. To solve this question, we did the number of buttons divided by the number of students. In this case, there were 12 buttons and we divided it by four, the number of students, for each student to have three buttons each. Now let's turn back to the original question. Here, the teacher had 240 st stickers and she wanted to distribute these equally among her class of 30 students. So we can take the number of stickers and divide them by the number of students. There are 240 stickers divided by 30, which you can simplify to 24 over three, which equals to eight stickers per student.